All right, welcome back to the show. I've got uh, Carrie Hogan with Avon Liquor here. Every Tuesday, every Thursday throughout the wintertime, you have beer tastings, wine tastings, and just good information to share with people. How have you been? We like to share. We like to share. I'm doing good. I know. I'm doing I, good. I don't usually work on Tuesdays. I know. So. I noticed that. Lucky me, I get to be here. <laughs> yeah, it is. Off camera, I just want to let everybody know that she has hops growing in her house, which well, I think is really neat. You know, I'm fascinated outside by my that. house. I think that's neat. You said oh. they kind of grow like vines. Oh, they're and beautiful. You, if you're looking for something to go on trellis on your fence or Do anything else. Do they bloom else, like other little flowers? No, they're they're just little buds. So, okay. but they're really you know beautiful and they smell great. And I mean, if you happen to have friends that make beer, they are all over you. That's You'll good see to know. them outside of uh, bonfire. They've got a nice little trellis oh. going on of, of hops outside of there. They're really beautiful. They're great. I've ha handed handed out lots of roots. A lot of friends that now have them growing in their house. I might too. be in line for yeah, one of those. I'd no like to worries. Try in the spring, in the fall. Okay, so now we're talking about tonight. You yeah. have a beer tasting. Speaking Upslope, of hops. And they yes. have citrus hops in it. Tell us what people can expect from Upslope. So, you know, Upslope's a great little beer out of Boulder, Colorado. And, um, you know, it's a, one of our local. Uh, I, I like these beers. I think that their craft lager is one of the best lagers out there. I'm a lager kind of person. What is a lager? As well, lager is it's it's a harder style to make. It's when it's lagered. It's it's very clean and it's crisp. Um, there isn't a whole lot of that IPA thing. There's hops in there certainly, but it's more of a balanced lighter beer. Okay. And I I like those because I taste a lot of wine, and right. so as my job and also on the side. Tough and job. it's You're a great little palate cleanser. It really is. I hate to tell you, but most wine people will tell you there's a beer for them that cleanses their palate. The lager does a good job. The lager does a good, good job. But they have a great little uh, pale ale. They've got an India pale ale. This is their uh, limited release that's going to come in this 12-pack. The citra pale. The citra pale. Now, these limited releases are also in six-packs, but they don't last very long. So it's a great uh, way, to, you know, when you've got friends coming over, when you buy these mixed boxes, yeah. you've got a style for everybody. There's a hoppy style in there. There's an Indian, you know, Indian pale ale. There's a brown. There's something for everybody in there. So it's a great way to, uh, to uh, entertain. Okay. And tonight, four to six, come by. We get to taste them. You, you know, you've. Everybody's going to have a different uh, favorite. You yeah. know, some people are real big IPA people. Some people are like me or lager Listen people. to your palate. You listen to your palate. Yeah, you're allowed to like whatever you want. Don't yeah, let sure. anybody tell and you that's what why you should be drinking. You have a huge variety. Oh, of, huge. Uh, not just beer, obviously oh, liquor, lic yeah. wine, and getting into wine Thursday yeah. night from Thursday 4 to 6 night. The wine tasting. I'm excited. This is sort of a fun little smattering from across the world. This first one is called Dr. Spark, and this is from uh, New Zealand, and this is a Sauvignon Blanc, real bright and fresh and New Zealand Sauvignon Blancs are quite hot and I love this little one and, and it's a unique little package. It's I like, like, and I like the look of the Let's bottle. Go. I like the look of it. Dr. Sparks. Next one is Beaujolais uh, at Village. So this is different from Beaujolais Nouveau. This is Beaujolais um, from the area in France. Now what I will say is there will probably be no Beaujolais, not probably, there will be very little Beaujolais next year because of devastating hail that happened oh. through that. So I have stocked a little bit of Beaujolais to, to try to help us get through that. But, you know, it's also a great way to, they're twelve ninety nine, and that's without your 15% off, right. by the way, that you get on tasting Tuesdays and yes, tastings, by the way. yeah, tasting Thursdays, anything we're tasting at 15% off. So Beaujolais Village, beautiful, almost Pinot, no, Pinot Noir-like, it's from the Gamay grape, great food, great, you know, just cocktail wine, great, uh, I, I love it on the mountain with cheese okay. and, and bread. Okay. Next one is from Argentina, and this is Malbec with Syrah. This is Diamande. So this is a French family that came over, and you can definitely feel the French hand on that. First of all, it's got a little blend, and Malbec for the French is a blending okay. grape. Beautiful. 1448, real rich. From Runquist, this is California. Rich, uh, big, Style fourteen ninety nine. So all of these are going to be, you know, peel to some palette or another. It'll be fun to see. They're all good. So beautiful. It's not. It's okay to like them all too. So beautiful. Yeah. Good to see you. Thanks Thank for coming you. In. Absolutely. You well, once again tonight at um, Avon Liquor right here in the Financial District in Avon, you're going to find <laughs> the beer tasting from four to six, the wine tasting on Thursday from four to six. We'll be right back with more of the show.